Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing chapter eight, exercise five, the shaft guide. Uh, so the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to draw it on a top down view. Uh, I'm going to draw the rectangle for this main piece. I'm going to fill it these four corners and draw these four circles in. And then I'm going to extrude it 0.75 inches. And then I'm going to come again uh, on the top down and draw this uh, center rectangle and extrude it all the way up. And then I'm gonna draw on this right hand face right here, I'm gonna draw a circle starting from this corner and a circle right here and then extrude those through. And then lastly, uh, on the back side right here, I'm gonna do a sketch and extrude this rectangle out right here. So you can see the final part right here, how I'm going to draw on this side, this circle and this circle and extrude it through. And then on the back right here, draw this rectangle and extrude it through. So let's get started. On the top plane looking down, we're going to draw our rectangle. It is five inches by three inches. We can go on ahead and use the sketch fillet. It shows in the right hand corner of the drawing that the radius is 0 0.25. And we'll go on ahead and mark these four corners. And I'm going to go on ahead and draw a center line. Never mind. I'm going to do that on the next face. Four. Yep, sorry about that. I'm going to go on ahead and draw a center line going across and from the top down so we can get a reference point for a mirror. Go on ahead and draw our circle. And it shows on the right that it's 0.5 off the left or off the side and the top. And the diameter is also 0 0.5. Now we can go on ahead and come up to mirror and select this and mirror it on the left side and mirror both on the bottom. Now we can extrude this 0 0.75 inches. And then we're going to do a sketch on the top face right here. Now on this, I'm also going to do another center line for reference. And then to get to the center point right here, I'm going to do a center rectangle. And go on ahead and dimension it at 1.5 and 2 inches. Now that's fully defined, we can go on ahead and extrude it. And it says it is 1.5 inches tall. And then on this right hand face right here, we're going to draw a circle from this corner right here and a circle in the middle right here. Up on this left hand one, it says the radius is 0 0.75. So that means the diameter is 1.5 and here, the diameter is 0 0.5, and it is 0 0.75 off of the right and the bottom. The bottom of this face right here, not the bottom of the drawing. Now that that's fully defined, we can come up here to extrude a cut, select both of those, and we're going to go from this sketch plane, and you can either do through all or up to next. Select OK, and now those two pieces are cut out, and now spin around to the back and do a sketch back here of a rectangle. So on this rectangle, we're going to highlight this top edge. That way it's coincident, and dimension it to 0.5 inches wide and 0.5 inches off the right. And then finally, it says it is 0 0.25 inches deep. And then extruded cut. Then once again, up to next or through all, whichever. 
And that is it for the shaft guide comment. If you have any questions, 